Where's Wally? The truth about Wally. Wally, Martin Hanford's eponymous stripy cardigan hero, has appeared in a vast array of books, television shows and video games over the years. This elusive wanderer seems capable of secreting himself in the most populated and outlandish of landscapes in a way that, on first inspection, comes across as a harmless jape, yet, in reality, Wally is telling us a lot more about the world around us than one would expect from a mere children's book. It's no great coincidence that Wally first came to the public eye in the late 80s, a time of significant cultural and social change. Though it is different to see how such an insightful message about our world today could come about in a pre-internet age, I think it simply plays credence to Hanford's visionary social commentary, emphasising the intricacies of thought that penetrate each drawing. Wally is a reaction to the morally questionable ubiquity of surveillance in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. The message of George Orwell's 1984, Big Brother is Watching You, is distilled into a single image. While you scan the pictures for a glimpse of Wally, searching the crowds for this lone individual, it's easy to forget that we are all Wally. We are all watched night and day by CCTV cameras, tracked when we browse the internet, even followed by digital trails of receipts and travel cards. No crowd is too large for the individual to escape being tracked, no drawing too complex for Wally to be lost. Wally also casts light on the nature of celebrity culture. It's impossible to escape the latest tabloid trash talk about what celebrity did this or that. Paparazzis prey on these innocent individuals who simply want to bask in the glory of their respective field of entertainment, revel in the wealth, and yet remain ordinary members of society, no different from you or I. It seems that society is always looking for its wallies. Someone to focus on in the faceless crowd, some beautiful visage to alleviate the pain of our lonesome existence. But perhaps the ultimate question asked by Wally is about his role within the images. Where is he in all of this? In modern society it's so easy to become lost in the crowd that it's difficult for any of us to really know who we are anymore. I'm Wally, says Wally. I'm trying to be an individual, a dress in red and white striped cardigan with a similarly coloured bobble hat because that's different, right? Yeah, I've got your usual blue denim jeans on, but I've got a walking cane. Who has a walking cane? Random, right? And I've got some John Lennon glasses too. Gotta love Lennon. But is that all I am? Am I doomed to be judged by appearances because modern society is too shallow and indifferent to care about who I really am? Inside my chest beats the heart of a man, of a thinker. Of a lover, of a son, of a brother, a father. I have something to say, and I mean something. So why... Why am I surrounded by these fucking idiots? I'm Waldo in America. Waldo. I thought I could reinvent myself, be someone different, but they see me exactly the same. No one cares about who I really am. I'm that guy in the red and white jumper. Well, fuck the jumper, and fuck that wizard that keeps following me around. Stop looking for me. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? I'm here, you found me. Now what do you want? I'm a human being. I'm a human being. At this point we had to end the interview, as Mr. Wally had become quite emotional. Wally has clearly told us a lot about this modern world in which we live. But the toll it's taken on him is clearly beginning to show. Good night, fair prince.